will plug the bottle and start pumping it up. When the pressure is at a limit, we take out the cork and pop is heard. And the bottle is filled with this kind of white smoke. A similar effect can be achieved without alcohol. The main thing is to choose a bottle with the right neck, like this. Tighten the cork tightly and then start twisting the bottle as much as possible. Twist with all your mind until the pressure becomes maximum. Now we carefully begin to unscrew the cork until it shoots, leaving the little white smoke in the bottle. That's the trick. For the next trick, we will need a bottle of distilled water. We will put it in the freezer for an hour and a half. Carefully take it back out. Now strike one light blow and the water starts to freeze right in front of your eyes. Incredible, isn't it? Or you can hit the bottle on the table and get the same effect. And if you try to pour this water into a glass, it will begin to form an ice column. Fix the match on the edge of the table with the brick. We tie a rope around the neck of a full bottle and fix it on the base of the match. Then, insert a second match in this way and connect them with the third match. Now you can remove the brick and three fragile matches can easily withstand the weight of two liters of water. But it is necessary to remove one match and the whole structure falls. For the next experiment, we will pour dry ice into a bottle of water. He immediately begins to evaporate and we need to tighten the cork on the bottle. As soon as that is twisted, we urgently move away to a safe distance. The bottle was torn apart by a powerful explosion. Never repeat it yourself. It's better to subscribe to our channel and click on the bell. To begin with, you will need two small holes on opposite sides of the egg. Now take a plastic bottle and make a hole in the bottom. Fill it with water. We fix the prepared egg on the neck of the bottle with plasticide. And now we remove the finger from the hole in the bottle and the pressure will pull out the entire contents of the egg. The ball inside the bottle deflates on my command as soon as I squeeze my hand and I seem to put pressure on it. You want to know what the secret is? To begin with, put the ball in the bottle and pull it over its neck. Now, let's make a small hole in this place. Inflate the balloon covering the hole with your finger and once you release the hole, the ball will immediately begin to deflate. Look at this Coke bottle, it's like rubber. Now, I'll show you what the secret is. To begin with, put the pan on the fire and pour it into a little more than one bottle of Coke Cola. Add 50 grams of gelatin and mix until smooth. At this time, we will cut the bottle and wrap it with tape. Now, pour our mixture inside the bottle, fill it to the brim, and remove the foam. We'll put it in the freezer for 24 hours. Now, carefully remove the plastic from our gelatin bottle and put a label on it. And the cork was still on the toothpick. Here's how such a jelly cola turned out. We also made a jelly merinda. And yes, they are very tasty. And now, we'll show you how to make a chocolate bottle. To do this, we will need two, three chocolate bars, which we will melt in a steam bath. After that, pour the liquid chocolate into a bottle and distribute it smoothly over the entire inner surface. We immediately put it in the refrigerator for 20 minutes so that the chocolate freezes. We take it out the refrigerator and fall asleep inside the m &Ms. We remove the plastic mold with the stationary knife. We paste the label and install the lid on top. And now, let's take a look at the cross-section. By the way, instead of sweets, you can pour real cola into it, and the bottle is empty, and enjoy delicious chocolate.
And now we have an incredibly beautiful experiment on our turn. Let's make a hole in the bottom of the bottle. Take a rubber hose and heat it to give it plasticity. Pull one end on gas burner and the other on the neck of a bottle. We will fix our construction with the plastic pipe and several clamps. That's the device we got. We run the gas inside a hose and then give it a spark. The light rushes along the hose like a roller coaster, completing everything with a small explosion in a bottle. Look how beautiful it looks in the total darkness. But in no case, do not repeat this at home. It can be very dangerous. Let's take an ordinary apple and a large magnet. Of course, the magnet does not affect the apple in any way. But what if you put two apples on a wooden stick and balance them in the air? Now, you can see that the magnet still causes small fluctuations in the apple. It seems that there really is a lot of iron in this fruit. This trick is also great with grapes. Who would have thought that fruits and berries can be magnetic? We will install the magnet on the stand and take a couple of needles on a thread. As you can see, they immediately begin to reach for it, pulling the threads. Now we're heating up the needles as it seems they're starting to lose the interest in the magnet. And they fall completely. If you hold magnet over matches, then the effect will follow. But if you let them burn out, they immediately require magnetic properties. And not only a big magnet, but with such a small one. How is this possible? Let's try again with color matches. At last, nothing comes out with them. Let's take four magnets and 16 steel balls. Now we'll open up the plastic baseboard and place them inside as follows. Push a lonely ball to the nearest magnet and bam! All the balls have changed their position. And the extreme one flew out the baseboard at a decent speed. This is a real magnetic rifle. Pour some PVA glue into a bowl. Add some steel spraying and bright gouache. Mix the mass until smooth. And now add sodium and we'll mix it until the mass turns into real slime. But this is not just your ordinary slime. It's worth bringing a magnet and see what happens. Slime envelops any source of magnetism like a living slime. It's not easy to tear it off now. Holding the magnet at a distance, you can see how the slime seems to be pulling a tentacle towards it. Because of this, he really looks like something's alive. Just look how strongly this mass is drawn to the magnet. Much more interesting than your usual slime, right?
let's take a small plastic bottle, make a funnel out of a piece of paper, and pour some printer ink inside. Using a syringe, add alcohol inside until the bottle is filled. Close the lid tightly and now put a magnet to the walls. Look what's going on inside. The magnet seems to purify alcohol from ink. They literally separate from each other. See how beautiful it can look like a black waterfall that is directed upwards. All ink, no matter how well it has been stirred, will still be attracted to the magnet. Let's take another look at how quickly alcohol will become transparent again under the influence of a powerful magnet. An amazing sight, like a liquid hourglass. Let's take a new batch. Let's take a new batch of powder ink and mix it with oil. Pour a little in the glass and with the help of a magnet, we will get an unusual drawing tool. We do not recommend repeating this trick at home. We will bring the magnet to a laptop screen and it immediately goes out. Even a small magnet is enough. But remember that it can end badly for technology. Mysterious things also happen to a smartphone. When a magnet approaches, the screen goes out and lights up again. Let's take an ordinary magnet. As you can see, it is perfectly attracted to iron. But what if we heat it up the same way we heated the needles? After the magnet has become so hot, it's no longer attracted to iron. But even after it cools down, the magnetic properties will not return. Even another magnet can't move it anymore.